There are a lot of weapons you can choose from and play in Wayfinder and all of them are unique in some ways, so everyone will have a weapon they will like probably, but which one of them is the most powerful weapon currently at the Early Access launch? Well, in my and a lot of other players' opinion, it is very possibly the Tempest Shotgun from the rifle category as this weapon absolutely slaps and is not even close to the others. The Tempest rocks a very high base attack value that scales well, and that's already really charming for a shotgun type weapon, especially if it is higher than most other weapons available. It is of course of the rifle archetype that's very easy to use and handle. Both the hotshot reload and eagle eye mechanics are available for it, of which the latter activates seamlessly with the spread shots you shoot, so you don't even have to aim for those weak spots for bonus damage, and while possibly the weakest point of this weapon is its fairly low firing speed, its hotspot reload buff you get each time you succeed is faster firing rate that currently completely fixes the weapon and results in this bonker shotgun that one or two shots even elite units on your level and is capable of bursting down 30% health even of bosses with its unique weapon power called Bulletstorm or completely destroy mini bosses. Bulletstorm is basically a burst fire with your shotgun that fires twice for each pip you consume, resulting in a potential 6 fire burst from your Tempest using all 3 of your pips in rapid succession, which is very simple in design but with the incredible base firepower of this weapon, it hasn't disappointed me yet in melting anything I've tried it against so far. Now I've mentioned this weapon's only weakness is its slow initial firing speed, to which I found the solution to be abusing the hotspot reload mechanic of rifles, since this mechanic gives different buffs to each of the rifles, Tempest having a firing speed buff. Basically all you have to do is fire 3 times, activate your hotspot reload and burst fire into 3 fast shots and rinse and repeat, which results in roughly double firing speed for your Tempest compared to just shooting normally. It is an incredibly easy to use and safe weapon simply because it is a rifle and so it's ranged allowing you to play safer and frankly as long as you can aim and activate your hotspot reload reliably there is no way you won't be melting enemies with this weapon which is why I recommend everyone to try this gun out currently because I'm fairly sure it will get nerfed eventually. Currently I'm using the Tempest with my Venomous, as your shotgun activates all stacks of poison with a single shot on enemies, so it synergizes perfectly with her, but to be fair this weapon works with basically every single Wayfinder in the game, except maybe Wingrave since his passive wants you to use melee weapon combos, but even with him you can use it, because the weapon in itself is just so powerful. By now you're probably wondering, what's the catch then? But I'm happy to say there is no catch. You do not have to spend money to get this weapon at all, yes it isn't the starting weapon, but the great news is that the Tempest is super easy to craft down and I managed to get everything for it in around just 3 or 4 hours of targeted grinding and the best part that it is all early game with 2 of the first 3 bosses the game gives you and you unlock in your first hours. When we first check the requirements to crafting down Tempest at Arsenal and Skylight, you will notice that there's 3 components you have to craft down and there's one component that has to drop and to simplify all of these items required, we can very simply categorize them into targeted farming groups to help us get multiple items at the same time. First, I recommend leaving the unique Tempest Essence for the last, since while it does say it's a boss item reward, I actually managed to get this component from a random dungeon reward chest, so leaving it last gives you a chance to be lucky first and focus on other items. For the rest of the various items required for the components, the important ones are Ichor Pearl, Remnant Nexus, Halcyon Orb and Gem of Everest. For Molten Spectra you simply have to run a couple of Solar Mutated Dungeons, Silver Spectra drops from Codex Holes and Blood Touch Spectra is breaking rocks in the pits. Now to combine gathering most of these ingredients there are just 2 boss fights you need to grind. Blood Spawn in the pits for Ichor Pearl, Blood Touch Spectra and Molten Spectra if you Solar Mutate it and the Trial of Lingering Light boss fight for Remnant Nexus Silver Spectra and again Molten Spectra if you mutate it, but Trial of Lingering Light can also drop you the Tempest Essence unique crafting material we also need. Once you have everything from the bosses, all you need to do is run a couple of any of the dungeons in the Aurelian Ruins, so the first dungeon type, and gather the rest of the ingredients which would be the Halcyon Orb from completing the orbital event of aligning the orbs with the machine, and gathering a bunch of gems of Everest, which is a reward from killing loot goblins that you should find quite a lot in your runs anyway. For the Halcyon Orbs I actually recommend running the Undercroft dungeon as I had better luck finding them there, but as I said all of these items are super easy to grind, the bosses being the easiest, and unless you are really unlucky you should be able to get all the ingredients needed to craft the Tempest down in maximum 3 or 4 hours. 
So all in all, the Tempest is possibly the strongest weapon in the game right now based on my early tests and playing all the weapons in the last beta we were invited to, not just because it's firepower in itself and the good scaling, but also because its weapon mechanic is so easy to build up without any hassle, giving you a ridiculously powerful weapon ability that just melts everything and scales very well, and also synergizes really well with shorter buffs and character abilities. Apart from that, the Tempest will also have very good echo slots with at least two attack type slots with a rush and balance slot, so it can be built fully offensively. But basically, that is everything worthy to note and say about the Tempest. The weapon speaks for itself and hopefully some of the footage was also enough to convince you it's a weapon worth trying because it absolutely is and you wouldn't regret it unless you just dislike rifles. I will be posting more Wayfinder news as the server becomes more and more available and we get to play more, so subscribe for more videos everyone and if you have any content you would like to see more of or covered, do leave it in the comment section and I will do my best to cover it. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one.